Okay guys, I'm going to show y'all how to make a Tracy unit using your hop up. These are the materials that you need. Your hop-up, plastic, metal, doesn't matter. Because in the end result, it's gonna look good. Super glue to hold the LED lights. Positive, negative wiring, you know, connector of your choice. I've used to Maya because I have more of those. You can use the mini JSTs, you can use XT60s, whichever one you like. And you also need LED lights, specifically the uh, three millimeter ones. Yeah, they are ridiculously Other small. Other materials you're going to need is a Dremel with a three millimeter uh, drill bit, solder, well, soldering iron, some solder, and resistors. Go for the 150 to 200 ohms resistors. Um, if your resistors are too high, not enough power is going to get to the LEDs and the LEDs will be looking dim. If the ohms is too low, too much power will go to it and it will burn out the LEDs. I've actually burnt out about 10 of them experimenting with the numbers, so I got around 150 to 200 ohms. Alright, first thing we're going to do is uh, mark where you want your LED lights to go. Uh, personally, I like having them on both sides. That way they charge up while they're going up into the hop-up chamber. So my personal one, I have like one here, one there, 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 and one sitting right there for the first round in there, just sitting there waiting. You can pick you know, however number you like. Um, it's up completely up to you. Um, more does not necessarily mean brighter, it just means you have more shots that are already charged up ready to go. So, after you decide what you want, where you want it to be, you'll take a 3mm bit from your drill, place it on your Dremel, and get to it. Alright, well, I'm working, I'm reworking on the second one, so I already have holes tapped on one side, so I'm not too worried about it. Once you have your holes straight and clean, I'm going to check the inside and make sure that there's no burrs in it. Oh, I'll get my flashlight. So, turn off this light so it makes it a lot easier. As you can see inside, as you can look inside it, you don't see any burrs. That's very, very important because you don't want to block the truth of path of the BBs at all. Okay. Now that we got the holes drilled in, I pre-did these because I've had this in another one, I'm just doing a retouch up. You're going to want to take your 3mm LED lights and actually drop them in. So, as you can see on the screen, on the LEDs you'll have the two wiring. The longer wiring is the anode and the short wiring is the cathode. So, you know, anode, cathode, positive, negative. You want to place your positive towards the the front of your hop up and the anode you know facing away so in this case when I got the anode and cathode this side's the anode and I'm gonna make place it Oops. have mine just sitting right there you know, I'll place my second one in there too Have it sitting snug. If you did, if you use the right measurements, it will fit just snug. So that way, all you need to do is actually test it with a BB. Let it use now. Now, if it does work. Oh, 
Right. If you tapped it just right and make sure that you didn't see him go too far in, the BB will drop straight in there and roll out the back side. All right, now that we got our LED lights in, you wanna bend them a little bit, but not too much right now because they can easily break and you'll have to end up using more LED lights. Take your super glue, be very careful. You're going to apply it around the edges, just a light, a light amount. And wait about 30 seconds to a minute. Super glue's pretty much hardened and you're good to go. Now, take your negative and bend it enough to where they're touching and you know, put a little twist on it. That way they hold. Same thing you want to do with the positive. Place the wiring, you'll want your wiring towards the bottom. If you've worked with a front wire gearbox, then you know exactly how it, it will go. You know, as it passes the hop up, it'll come up on this side and run up. You're pretty much gonna do the same thing as far as the wiring. All right, once you cut the, the excess tips off, you're gonna take your soldering iron, and you're gonna take your solder, and you're gonna fuse the negatives together and fuse the positives together. Right, from here, you need to take your resistor. I'm just using, you know, a random one right now, but generally you want to go with 150 ohms to 200 ohms to have it bright enough to power the glow in the dark BB in there, okay? So, you're going to take your LED light. Right. Now, some people say place it on the positive side, place it on the negative side. I haven't seen really a difference between the two as far as placement. So, in this video, I'll place it on the positive end of it. And I'll show you how to do it right here. Basically, you just solder it in and you clip the excess on both ends. Now that we got our positive end on it, we're gonna cut a small chunk, well, a small piece of the wiring off the other end, and we're gonna attach our, our wiring. Onto, sorry, positive onto the, onto the resistor. I'm doing this on the fly. Like, you, you can do a lot better. I'm just doing this just to, you know, put it on the video. Give a rough idea of what you can do. And then negative onto the negative. be good to take the wiring get some shrink wrap and place it over the wiring I already had some here but like I said I know this is a sloppy one but what I'm doing is just a video of showing you what it can be done All right that's basically the gist of it 
I can sit here and grab a battery. I run mine off of a 7.4 LiPos. Um, that's generally between six to eight volts. I've seen people use um, their old 8.4 nickel metal hide batteries to power theirs. Some have done the wiring to the motor. That way, as soon as they pull the trigger, their LEDs come on. I personally like to run mine on a separate system because if my AG goes down, I won't know if it's going down because of the LED lights or, you know, a possible short anywhere. But that's just me. You can do it a different way. That's completely up to you. So, go ahead and cut that off and test it out. Ta-da. Like I said, I run mine through the front of my battery, uh, through, oh, front of my rifle. See here in my SRL, I have my wiring wrapped in here. I take my 1200 milliamp battery, which I just had, okay. I place my battery inside my rails. If it rains, then you know, I adjust from there, but generally, most areas I play, it doesn't rain. So I find out. You know, hey, is there going to be like a lights out game or, you know, a night game or something like that? I'll unscrew my rails, plug in my battery, plug it back in, and now I got the race tracers for the night. So, all right, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, if y'all have any questions, place the comments down, video, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'll sit here and do any other things I would have to do.